today is February 16, 2012. Now I'm going to be talking about some things that you probably won't like, okay? And I'm talking to the brothers, alright? Now, this video I named called Praise the Negro, okay? Praise the Negro. And I'm going to tell you why, alright? The Negro has been through a lot of shit, okay? A lot. More than any other nationality on the face of the planet. Okay? Hands down. There's no disputing that shit. Alright? Any other nationality probably wouldn't have survived the shit that the Negro has gone through. Okay? That's why I name it Praise the Negro. Now, a lot of you black folks, you know, th this is Black History Month, and a lot of you black folks are taught a watered-down version of black history. Black history didn't start with slavery, okay? Didn't start with black slaves. If you know your real history, the true history of, of the Negro, the Negro was royalty, a, a royal bloodline, okay? We are the sons of the ones who came from out of space, okay? We are. If you know your goddamn history, you know that we are the descendants of the Anunnaki, okay? That the Sumerian texts talk about. Now, the Anunnaki, which I talked about in some of my last videos, were a race of black folks that came here. Yes, black people that came here from out of the goddamn solar system. Alright? Black folks existed long before white folks. Long before. Long before they got them. They were swimming before they were swimming their daddy's nut sacks, okay? Long, much, much longer before that. Alright? Like I said, we are the sons of the ones who came from outer space. If you know your history, this earth belonged to us. Okay? Inherited by from our forefathers. The earth, E A R T H. The the Sumerian text clearly states that E, E A, the son of Anu, the king of Nibiru, a planet called Nibiru, came here over 400,000 years ago. Yes, over 400,000 years ago. E A, his name was E. When he got here, his name changed to Inky. E A. Earth, E-A-R-T-H, okay? Don't get that shit twisted. All that shit you got in your head, dump it out for a second. Just listen, okay? I'm, like I said, I'm giving it to you raw. I'm not going to cut no goddamn corners. I ain't worried about my language or nothing like that. As long as whatever's coming out my mouth, as long as it's the truth, that's the only matter, okay? Now, Let's look at the United States today. If the history books uh, didn't tell us that white men came over here and uh, slaughtered the Indians, we would know by their names. Hmm? Mississippi, Arkansas, Alabama, Missouri, Tallahassee, those are all Indian words. But those states are ran by white men. Okay? Who runs the earth today? The financial markets. White men. Hmm? Blue eyed white men. Okay? But earth, E A, is named after a black man. Just like the. the the states that I just named to you were named after the Native Americans that was here. 
Okay? The Indians. Before the Indians, the Olmecs. The African Olmecs predated the Indians. I live in the state where the African Olmecs resided, in the state of Louisiana. Some of the oldest people here in the, in the United States resided here in Louisiana. The African Olmecs, okay? They lived in Mexico also. Predated the Aztecs. Big headstones. The African Olmecs. Look it up. That's our true history. We are the sons that came from outer space. Okay? Even the Dugan tribe of Africa say the same goddamn thing. Okay? They came from the Cyrus, uh, the Sirius V solar system. Okay? Star system. Long before any white man even knew about it. Okay? Because it can't be seen by the naked eye. The only way you fucking know about it is if you was taught by, some, by somebody that was from that star system, or either you've been there. Hmm? Don't buy off into that bullshit, like I said. Okay? Because a lot of the shit that we taught in school is all bullshit. The history part, anyway. I can't believe they still teaching Christopher Columbus. You know, he came over here and discovered America. Which is bullshit. Okay? Came over here and conquered. But you can't discover something that's already occupied, that, that's owned by somebody. You know, we already know that bullshit. Okay? Now, going back to the uh, Anunnaki, alright? The Anunnaki, for those of you who don't know, what well, race of black people that rule, okay? Came here and ruled. All right, they created us in our in their own image. All right, as stated in, in many Bibles, you know. And we still use words, okay? Still use language, the Anunnaki language, and we don't even really know it. You know, certain certain phrases, some certain words. We still use to this very day, and we don't even know it. Because it's embedded in our DNA, okay? You telling me you ain't never heard of nobody in the ghetto go by the name of Nunu? N-U-N-U? -N -N -U, Nunu? Huh? And you know there ain't no shit about the Anunnaki or anything like that, okay? Nothing about the history. Was they go? They was somebody. Oh, there's always somebody that got them ghetto that went by the name of Nunu. Okay. So therefore, it's embedded in our DNA. We we are still somewhat connected to the Anunnaki. Okay. This melanin on our skin is one is one result of it. Okay? You know, you got all these names, and even in Africa. You know, like I said, the king of Nibiru at the time was Anu, or some people say Anu. Okay? A-N-U. Before him, there was Alalu, or Alalu. A-L-A-L-U. Pay attention, you, 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 the letter U, okay? Let's, let's talk about modern day age, okay? Let me throw some names out to you. Erica Badu, you, okay? Here's another one. Ubuntu software, the most popular fucking Linux software, desktop software, that's currently out. Okay? So 
So when you're dealing with certain languages, certain words and phrases, you like you saying some shit you don't even know nothing about. Okay? But it's it's in your DNA. It's in here. Alright? But you just don't know. Because a lot of us have been brainwashed. We've been brainwashed to think certain things. Say like if Ebonics. Is, you know, some ignorant bullshit or whatever. White folks don't even like to recognize it. You know, they tell you, pronounce your I-N-G's afterwards. You know? Look how long it took for the word ain't, A-I-N-T, to make it to the goddamn dictionary. Hmm? We've been saying that shit for over 30, 35, 40 years now. Ain't. I remember school teachers telling me there's no such thing there's no such word as ain't. It's isn't. Hmm? But it finally made its way to the goddamn dictionary now. After all that time. And a little bit more about black, black history, okay? We are, I'm not going to even say God's true people. I don't really want to get deep into it. But there are many gods in the Bible, okay? If you, if that's what you go by. Many, many gods in the Bible. There's always somebody that want to rule over the Negro, okay? But the Negro don't want to rule over itself, okay? Think about it. The Negro always, somebody always want to rule over the Negro. Follow this, follow that, do this, do that. God said this, God said that. And I do believe in the almighty, true creator, God of everything. But it ain't the one that's in the Bible, as I explain, okay? Because a true God, a true almighty creator that's independent of your ass, don't need you to serve him, okay? It won't require such thing. Only a flesh and blood God would require such things, okay? Praise me, make me feel good. Hmm? Pay your 10%. Hmm? Give me 10% of your earnings. What kind of bullshit is that? Like I said, don't, buy, don't get it out your head. Get it out your head for a second. All that shit you learned from childhood, get it out your head for a second. God is not flesh. The almighty true God is not flesh. All right? He's energy. Energy create, cannot be created or destroyed. Only transferred. Okay? Even white folks know that shit. All right? So how the fuck are you going to give energy 10% of your goods? How are you going to praise energy? Energy is it's not dependent upon you. Okay? It's not, you don't make energy. Energy don't need to praise it. If anything, energy empowers your ass. All right? It gives, not takes. Because technically we are energy. Spiritual. Okay? We just, in this flesh. All right? I'm not going to get deep off into that. But we are energy. Okay? And the closest thing that will even come to God in this solar system is the sun. Yes, the sun. The sun. Okay? Think about it. Does the sun require you to worship it? No. Nope. Does the sun try to rule over you? No, it does not. Does the sun give you laws to obey, uh, obey uh, abide by? No. Does the sun need you? No. Does the sun get along with your ass? Yes, it does. It certainly does. The sun, we are nothing without the sun, okay? Nothing. 
I don't give a fuck how